Hey guys, what's up? This is Spaffboy and welcome to this Farming Simulator 15 mod showcase video. And today we are looking at Fents, which are awesome. But specifically we're looking at a uh, Fent pack. So we've got a number of tractors here, which range from the Fent Vario SCR724 down to the SCR714. Um, so we're going to have a look at the most expensive one. It's got to be in the default colour, hasn't it? Otherwise it would be sacrilege. Uh, right, so let's go and get in it. Ooh, let's get it out. Yes! Oh my god. That is cool. Wow. That is cool. Oh my god, there's already a lot to take in. I'm just going to get it out in the open here at Soz Novica. So, I'm going to try and get out. So you get out straight away. Okay. But, first of all, let's have a look around and have a look at the detail. I am using the Satec wheel today. I've got it back set up. But obviously I don't use that to walk around with. But anyway, detail, detail is very good. I love the wheels and the tyres. They look better than normal. Look at the detail. Oh, this is good already. I like it. The Fent is always good, I have to say. Um, but of course, there is a link in the description to this pack if you are if you like Fents, you like Farming Simulator. And why would you be watching this if you didn't? <laughs> but I do hope that you uh, go and download it because it certainly looks good so far. So let's have a look at that entrance video uh, sequence, should I say, again. So... Set of controls, there is just E for enter, the, so there's no extra IC for the uh, outside of the vehicle. So if you press E, opens the door, you climb up into the cab. Yes, the door shuts behind you. Amazing. Right, so it says extra menu on in the top right hand, uh, top left hand corner. Okay, keypad zero. Ooh, wow. Mirror left turn, mirror left inclination, mirror right turns, indoor light, work light. Okay, well let's have a look at the IC first, which is right control, which is unusual because it's normally spacebar. Right, so we've got up and down with the steering wheel, we've got rake, what's that do? Ah, drive control, yes, I don't have that installed. So that's light, beacon, work like front, lights on, hazards, you've hit the hazards, uh, yeah so let's move steering console, so we've got left turn indicator, right turn indicator, ah, scrolling the wheel moves your seat up and down, uh, Whoa, what the hell just happened? Wow, it doesn't like that. I'm pressing the right hand button with the IEC on. Uh, so yeah, that's the door. Oh, it changes the sound. Listen to that. So you can hear the engine running. That's brilliant attention to detail. I love that. Love that. So let's see what we've got over here. So we've got Vario terminal, terminal on and off. Can't read what that says. I want to yes, yes. So we've got controls. This is activate lower front. So that'd be the front coupler, lower back. And here we've got differential lock at the back, diff lock at the front, enable four wheel drive, but you need the drive control mod by the looks of it for that. Act toggle PTO. Whoops. This is. What does that do? Warning panels. Oh, doesn't like that. Ah, there we go. Again, changes the sound. That incredible attention to detail. Uh, passenger seat. 
clothes person to see. Where's my food box? <laughs> Open the sunroof. Put down the sunblind. That's kind of it. Well, I say that's kind of it, but that is bloody awesome. So let's go and have a look what it drives like. This might go and replace the tractor that's doing the uh, unloading the tipper. It has a drive. Quite nice, sounds good. I'm gonna shut the seat, the uh, sunroof actually while I'm here. Oh, stuck. There we go. So the sound's gone. That's better. Much less of a dismal racket. It does look good, and it is a faint. There's the landing. I go this way because it is the, uh, the shortcut to my field, which I think is field 18. But sounds good, looks good, and the physics seem to be very good as well. I do like this a lot, but I guess so when you're driving along, you can put it in that and do left indicator, right indicator. Very strict, because you can't look around, so you have to keep doing that. But it is good. Overall, I really like this. He's stuck. Okay, so I'm going to swap these over. Just to move them out the okay. So the 1050 Vario needs to get out of the way. And you're now going to be replaced by... 700 series. Drop it off. Get him out of the way. Let's jump out and run over. Whoops. Jump out and run over, he says. So he can crack on doing this field. The Joe Skin Tipper, which I've just done a um, mod video on. Awesome. The door's open. Climb up in. Oh, that is so cool. Connected. So let's see if it struggles with a, ooh, a third full tipper. Change the view. Not a chance of it. That looks bloody good though, doesn't it? Wow. I really, really like it. So that's going to be it for this video. I've tried to keep it brief so I don't waffle on. But I hope that you can see that this is probably the most animated tractor that you can get on Farming Simulator 15. But it certainly is the one that I've seen. I think that the access and egress <laughs> um, sequences are really good, or especially getting in. It just, again, it's just these little details that add such another level of realism to this already massively realistic game. Um, maybe I'll show you the price etc of it in case you're interested um so that one is two hundred and twelve thousand pounds 240 horsepower 190 pounds and it gives you all of the details you could ever possibly want about the uh tractor so i really do hope that you've enjoyed it i certainly enjoyed seeing it it's going to be my probably one of my go-to tractors when I am going to start another series on Farming Simulator 15 but I am waiting for a specific map to come out on the FS UK website. I'm going to be inquiring with them as to when it's going to be coming out um, and as soon as it does we will get cracking. I'm going to do a full series like my uh, Very British Farm at Colbra Park Farm series which you can check out in my playlists but that is what my main goal at the moment. But at the moment I'm going to keep carrying on with these mod showcases, my massive mods and mob madness videos. Um, but for now, I hope you've enjoyed this one. If you have, please drop me a like. And as always, please comment and let me know if there's any um, mods that you'd like me to check out. This was one that was recommended to me by one of you guys, one of the viewers who left a comment. 
and I am here looking at it now. So I hope you enjoyed it. If you have, drop me a like, subscribe for more. But for now, goodbye.